In this video, we're going to look at how Gapminder created one of the most iconic demographics visualizations to come out in the last decade. The wealth and health of nations tells the story of global development since the 19th century. You can observe trends in nations getting bigger and healthier, and people's lives generally becoming longer. What's amazing about this graph is just how many variables it shows us without becoming muddled and confusing. As you've probably guessed, each circle is a nation, its size and position tell us the metadata, and the animation represents time. Let's take a look at the five dimensions it shows. Life expectancy, income per capita, population, geographic region, and time. Highlighting the relationships between many variables is tricky at best, but as Gapminder showed us, there are a few simple tricks you can use, no higher dimensional space required. You should always use axes to cover the two dimensions you care about most. They're intuitive and easy to read. Color is a good way to group things into categories. When multiple ca colors are used, the same color always means the data points are somehow related. This might be more conventional than science, but it works. Intuitively, circle size tells us the relative size of a data point, but be careful. We're looking at area, not radius. Encoding data with a radius will look wrong. Animation gives us a hidden third dimension, Time. It's actually perfect for showing time. Go figure. There you go. A brilliant visualization of 200 years of demographics data with more dimensions than you can shake a stick at. The lesson here is that a dimension can be more than a line. It can be a color, an area, or even something completely different you came up with yourself.